we are going to discuss io time to access a page what are the different components of time required to access a page from the disk to the memory so here are the time components the first time is known as a seek time so seek time means it is a time required to put the read write head of the disk on a proper or exact cylinder so the time required is known as the seek time so that is our rotational latency so we are having mainly two times one is the seek time another one is the rotational latency actually this times are required to put the read read head on the start of that very block from where the reading is to be done so in case of seek time the average time will be 10 to 20 millisecond and in case of rotational latency is the time required to put the read read head at the start of the block is having the average time of 5 to 10 millisecond so now the read read head has been put at the beginning of the block on the respective cylinder now we can start reading next time factor is known as the transfer time it is actually the time to rotate over block containing the page so the time to rotate over the block to which is which is now containing the page that means to read the total page content and that is known as the transfer time and it depends on the size of the block selected okay now this latency that is the seek time and this rotational time they are known as the latency the word latency means delay so this latency is actually the sum of the seek latency and the rotational latency our goal is to minimize the average latency and reduce of number of page transfers that means our target is two things one is to minimize the average latency and then reduce the number of page transfers so two things are there we are discussing this one here and this point we are discussing here okay now let, let me go into the details of them so re, uh, reducing latency store pages containing related information that means if we make our pages which are related that means after reading a certain data item the application is most preferable to read the required information related with the data item so this related pages if we can keep in some related information in some related space or very nearby then obviously the disk read time can be minimized so here is the text for us stored pages containing related information closed together on the disk so that is our point number one and this is our page size trade-off now what is the page size trade-off so the page size trade-off is that we can consider large page size so that all the related information will be kept in a single page so that is one good optimization but the thing is that the transfer time of that page will be elongated as the page is having a larger size that is one difficulty another difficulty is that if you go for larger page size so sometimes we may be loading some redundant information which was there in the page which might not be required in our near future so that's why another option is about small page size which will reduce the transfer time and the buffer size in the memory the typical page size is 4 kb that is 4096 bytes so we have considered this one that is how we can reduce our latency next point is that reducing number of number of page transfers so how to reduce the number of page transfers keep cache of recently accessed pages in the main memory that means those pages which are recently accessed may be required in near future also they must be kept in the cache so that the page will be hit from the cache instead of reading it from the disk storage again so that's why you have written this one goal is that request for page can be satisfied from the cache itself instead of going for the disk read or disk access next one is purge pages when cache is full so we shall have to replace those pages which might not be required in our near future so our cache should be filled up with those pages which are either currently in use or will be used in near future of time 
So for example, use LRU page replacement algorithm list recently used page replacement algorithm. We can have other page replacement algorithms also. Record clean oblique dirty state of the page. Clean pages do not have to be written. So sometimes it may happen that from the disk one page has been loaded into the memory and due to some update or insert or delete query delete operation the page content has been changed. So now what is happening the same page content on the disk and the same page content onto the memory their contents are different because we executed some insert delete or update operation on the page. So that is why before replacing the page through some page replacement algorithm or before making the cache empty replacing those pages the updated page content must be written back onto the physical storage so that there will be a synchronization so there will be no inconsistency in the database content. So in this way we have discussed all these issues that is seek time, rotational latency, transfer time and what is the latency here and what is our goal and how to optimize our goal accordingly. So IO time to access a page we have discussed on this one into more details. Thanks for watching this video.